Fleming from the Florida Sun. How you doing today, sir? Alex Fleming, Florida Sun. Uh, in your personal opinion, considering that most of your games were West Coast, do you believe there's a West Coast bias when it comes to the draft and how they see players? Um, not, not really. I I believe that I believe the East Coast has more of, I would say, advantage. Alex Kazora, Steelers Depot. Hey, appreciate you t- uh, talking with us. Um, are teams primarily look primarily looking at you as an outside corner or a slot corner? And then also, have you talked with the Pittsburgh Steelers? And if so, who have you spoken with? Um, I would consider myself an outside corner, but I haven't talked to the Pittsburgh Steelers yet. Tyson Alger, Athletic. Hey, Deion, what was it like training with Thomas again the last few months? And, like, was, was there any part of you that was just curious of, like, where you guys were going to stack up after you playing the season and then him him opting out and just, just how that affected your guys' uh, preparation? Um. It was it was definitely fun working out with Thomas. You know, uh, we definitely push each other every day to be better than one another. So that just shows how competitive we are. So just him being there, it pushed me to want to be great also. Jacob Infante. Hey, I appreciate you taking the time to talk to us, Diamondor. Uh When taking a look at some of the guys that you have in that Oregon defensive back room, you know, you're talking – uh, yourself, uh, Thomas Graham, Javon Holland, Brady Breeze. Uh, that's a really talented group of guys. Uh, can you speak a little bit about that culture that you guys have developed and what being surrounded by such talented players has helped do for your game as well? Uh, it just kept, I want to say, it just kept me elevated. You know, it kept me wanting to bring a better part of me every day. And just playing with them made my job easier as an Oregon football player. Thank you. Andrew Freeman. Hey, Andrew Freeman from the Bear Report here. Uh, two things here. Uh, have you met with Chicago Bears at all in the pre-draft process? And uh, second thing, you know, when you look at some of the cornerbacks in the NFL, who are some of the guys that you like to really break down and study and kind of mold your game after on the outside there? Um, I, I haven't met with the Chicago Bears yet, but um, hopefully we will after Pro Day. Um, but – the guys I like to watch in the NFL is Xavier Howard, Darius Slay, Jalen Ramsey, and Jair Alexander. Thank you. Keenan Atchison. Thanks for taking the time to join us today. Um, I just have a quick question. Would you prefer to be used in a man-to-man scheme or a zone? Um, man-to-man, most likely. Max Torres. Hey, DD. Uh, you know, you're you're one of the few guys uh, from this pro day. It feels like that. Uh, you know, made the decision to to come back and play in the 2020 season. Uh, you know, looking back on that, what do you think are were your biggest takeaways from having that that extra time to you know really try to hone your game? Uh, I feel like I became a smarter football player. I feel like, I feel like my IQ gradually went with me coming back and having experience that I was able to gain from Coach Chance. So I would like to thank him for that also. And, you know, it just made me want to be more of a leader, just knowing that I was one of the oldest guys coming back. Garrett Parker, USA Football. Yeah, Amador, you're a U.S. national team alum taking your – going back to high school. Can you just talk about how being, spending time with Team USA and USA Football helped you get better? Uh, It just – it really showed me, it made me, it let me, it helped me build a lot of relationships, you know, with guys across the world, you know, and that, on that team, it was Katie Nixon, Chase Young, um, Josh Clark, uh, Kerry Vincent. It was a lot of those guys. So just being able to just talk football with them, you know, it just helped me look at stuff in a different perspective. Edward Kraz. Hi, Demo. You mentioned Darius Slay. What is it you like about Slay's game, and how would you describe yourself as a player? Uh, I like him because he, he's very smooth with his transitions, and he has good feet. Um, and the second part of the question, you said, uh, "What do I? How do I feel about my?" 
describe your yourself as a player. How would you describe the way you play the um, uh, I feel like I'm an aggressive, um, man to man press owner. I feel like I'm just the best at what I do. Uh, next question goes to David Tilton. Hey, Dio, um, you, uh, met with my, uh, co-host of the air raid hour, Steve Mathis, uh, a couple weeks ago. And I wanted to ask you about, um, how you model your game, and you mentioned man-to-man, -man. how much of your game do you model after a guy like Tredavious White with the Bills, who's primarily known as a zone corner, but really has kind of excelled in all different types of schemes? And second part of the question is, um, do you feel like you're versatile enough to play safety as well in the NFL if a team were to ask you to? Yes. I, I believe I can definitely play safety, and I feel like I'm one of the most versatile players in the draft highly underrated but um yeah uh I like a, I like a few things that Tredavious White does you know I like I like the way he moves his feet you know he's very patient and I think he makes a lot of plays Yuki Hawkins Demo Wookie Hawkins, Buffalo Sports 1080. How's it going, big guy? I'm doing good. How you doing? I'm good, man. I, I know you're not scared of Zach Moss. You already said that you, you know, you're not scared of that guy. But how would you love the uh, opportunity to, to play in Buffalo? And what do you know about my guy, Seven McGee? Oh yeah, Seven McGee. Uh, yeah, that's my, that's my, that's like my little brother. You know, uh, ever since he even committed to Oregon, you know, I always talk to Seven. You know. He's just good, good guy, very fast, strong. You know, I like him a lot. I think he's going to do some big things at Oregon. Megan Price. Hi, Demo. Megan Price with Sideline Sports. The top pick for Dallas is likely to be a corner. Are you interested in going to Dallas, and have you talked to them? Um, I haven't talked to Dallas, actually. But whatever team's picked me – you know, I love to play, and I'm going to be a dog for him. Thank you very much. Hope to see you in Dallas. Matthias Aurelius. Thank you. Uh, Theo, here's Matthias Ornelas from Time Out here in Brazil. Uh, congratulations for going for the NFL draft. Uh, you already talked about, like, have a, being a leader on this team because we have a lot of guys opting out. But we have a bunch of guys in Oregon, the secondary, going for the draft as high picks guys. How do you think that this, that's a kind of statement for the secondary and everything that you can do on the field? Um, I just think that I feel like we, we all been blessed, you know, just to get the exposure that we getting. So um, it feels good. And like I said, there wouldn't be no me. So they made my job easier and as well as I made their job easier. So I, I just appreciate it, and you know, uh, we're trying to make history. Thank you. Good luck. We got one more uh, time for one more question. Max Torres. D'Almador, uh, now that you're you're off to the league here, the, the cornerback position becomes very young for the Ducks. We all know about Michael. He, he's a stud. Uh, what can you tell me about the development of DJ James and, and young guys like Dante Manning? Um, DJ's grown so much from when he first came in, you know, I feel like he's ready to lock it down. Just seeing him in practice drills since I left uh, and before, and now that I'm back seeing him in practice drills, I feel like he got a, he got a good head on his shoulders and I feel like he gonna hold his own. And I think this is going to be his breakout year. All right, Damo, appreciate your time. Good luck. Hope to talk to you soon. Thank you.